Hello everybody, welcome back to more Reader Rabbit Interactive Math Journey. We're still continuing our epic journey towards figuring out the usefulness of math. We are back to the worlds of patterns and shapes. Apparently we're going to Antarctica today, and I believe we'll be doing something involving penguins. I don't particularly know. Let's find out together, shall we? We're off to the land of Arctic shapes. Arctic shapes, all right. We did patterns last time, now we're moving on to shapes. Magician? Hmm, he seems to be on top of the world. But I think he's about to encounter a problem of geometric proportions. Uh-oh. We got a walrus here. Hey, bro, what's up? You, all, you doing all right? He seems to be doing fine. Who keeps throwing snowballs at him? He's just trying to catch fish. What the heck? Also... Click on the help balloons and I'll read them out loud. Okay. It looks like we have one fewer thing to do now. I mean, maybe they cut the math song out because the, the song was kind of the introduction to the mathematical concept. But we're just revisiting an old concept. So, huh. I guess we'll actually follow the path this time. And we're also skipping the storybook. Maybe we just have two math games now. Okay. Hey there, Tally. That last attack damaged our snow fort. Oh Can no. Can you use these snow blocks to fill the hole? Give it a try. Click on a shape and move it to the hole in the igloo. Press on the space bar if you need to turn the shape. Oh, so this is kind of similar to making the quilts. We've got this big hole in the igloo and we got these shapes we can patch up. Now, the question is, do we have unlimited shapes like we did last time, or do we can we only use one of each? No, we can use as many as we want. Oh, and we can turn them uh we can turn them 45 degrees instead of just 90. Interesting. Well, all we need are two of these trapezoids and two of these triangles. Oh, whoops. I did not need to rotate it that much. That's much better. Thanks. Click hey, the next no problem, igloo. Wally the walrus. Catch I have another <laughs> hole. Collect five small igloos to earn a star. All right, I want I want my star. Even as an adult, I still like getting the gold stars on my papers. It's great when my boss uh, puts them on <laughs> at my job. All right, so got a weird shape here. This looks like a triangle. So, boom. These are narrow enough. We're gonna need one of these. Parallelograms. Just like that. So we gotta get those points first. And now we've got just this trapezoid left. Pretty simple. It's a. Oops. Just hanging pictures in here. <laughs> Mr. Wallace, maybe you should stop trying to hang pictures in your igloo while we're trying to fix it for you. I feel like that might be just a little bit counterproductive. All right. Yeah, if, as long as you, if you could do the like the symmetry quilts, this should be no issue for you. The key for these is do the edges first. For example, because you can see that like a shape like that is not going to fit there. I mean, because ideally we want to make it as efficient as possible and not use any unnecessary material. Got to be cost efficient and all that. So then this part up here, it's pretty clear we need a triangle. Beneath that we could use a parallelogram. That's, not, that's a trapezoid. And now we can use two squares. <laughs> it's almost like a rocket ship shape. Way to go! Uh-oh, here comes the snow. Yeah, so if you're wondering what math can do, it can help you repair your igloo, apparently. Although, again, I'm not really sure how much shapes correlate to math, but I'll allow it. <laughs> hey, it's like a hedgehog shape. Well, we're going to need a lot of these, a lot of these parallelograms. Booyah. 
Beautiful. Thanks a whole lot. Well, it's a good thing we came along. Apparently nobody... See, this, ladies and gentlemen, kids, this is why you need to know math. Because we're right now visiting worlds where nobody knows math and nobody can solve their problems. And it's literally up to us, the only kids who actually know how to use math, to solve their problems for them. But in the real world, you can't rely on other people to solve your problems. You gotta be able to solve them on your own. That's all about, that's all part of being independent and growing up. So, make sure you learn math so that way you can help uh, solve your own problems. And if you do run into somebody who's genuinely in need of help, you can lend them a helping hand. But you shouldn't rely on other people helping you out. Alright, I'm going to try something a little trickier here. What's that? Oh, yeah. Check that out. There's no real one way to solve each of these puzzles, by the way. a whole lot. So, for example, I could have solved that puzzle just using triangles. Alright. Alright. All right, there. <laughs> Pop. Click on exit if you need a rest, or keep clicking on the small igloos to do your own puzzle. No, I've had enough of repairing igloos. I didn't even catch the walrus's name, but I hope he's doing well. Click on exit if you need a rest. Also, uh, Tally, that's a nice, that's a nice winter outfit. Your own I like the beanie. All right. It's been a whole lot of fun. We got a gold star. Okay, so that was math exploration. Now we have a math challenge. So, that was just kind of putting a recap of basic, basic shapes, and not symmetry per se, but just like putting shapes to plug up holes. But now, we actually get a legit challenge. I wonder what this is all about. This is where the game's gonna start getting tough, I believe. Fort Snow is under attack. I need your help. Click on the snow shape to throw a snowball. Knock all three snow bullies down. Learn a star. Find a shape that will roll. Okay. I don't remember this. I thought this was a world where we had to, like, go bowling for penguins. I don't know. Maybe that's a different world, or maybe that was a different game, or maybe that was just a dream I had. So, Fort Snow, that's a good name. Again, I don't know the walrus's name. Find a shape that will roll. Alright, so we gotta find the shape that'll roll. Well... I can see these two shapes on this guy are going to roll. Hit the one on the bottom to knock the top pieces down. Click on a shape with four corners. Okay. Shape of four corners. Boom. Find a shape that is round. How in the world is that snowman standing up? Also, the... <laughs> this poor guy has no one to actually have a snowball fight with. He's just throwing snowballs at these weird... Snowman, per se. All right, now we need a round shape. Throw it at this guy's head. Which shape has less than four sides? Less than four sides? This guy's face. Which one is shaped like a piece of pie? All right, seriously, seriously folks, if you ever see a snowman like this in real life, where it's got a triangle... Then a square stacked on top of the triangle, and then another triangle stacked on top of that, perfectly balanced like that. You're probably witnessing some of the devil's powers at work, so maybe stay away from that snowman. <laughs> Alright, one that looks like a piece of pie. Well, let's knock the devil snowman down. Which shape has more than three sides? That's a lot of them. We, we've left this guy alone for a while. Kablam! Did you think we could, you could escape? Find a shape with more sides than a triangle. That's almost all of them. Click on a square. Oh, my bad. That's not a square. That's a rectangle. This is a square because every side is the same length. Click on a shape that will not roll. A shape that will not roll? That would be the triangle. Find a shape with sides that are not all the same length. That's a rectangle. <laughs> Find a shape with six corners. Oh, six corners. That's one of those hexagons. Oh, so now we've got this guy like, eh, things might be looking a little dire. This guy like, well, I'm making out my will to my wife and kids. And then this guy's like, oh no, I'm so sad. I'm about to die. Yeah, you are about to die. Click on a I'm just hexagon. kidding, kids. Nobody dies in this game. It's all part of the good snowball fun. 
Remember, Snow's not even alive. I'm sorry, what did you say? Click on a hexagon. A hexagon. That hex is a prefix meaning six. Uh, so, hexagon means six-sided. Kablam! Which shape has more than three corners? <laughs> Find a rectangle. Boom. Which one looks like a full moon? The only one that's left, dude. Kablam! We aced that snowball fight. Oh, hmm. You got 15. Correct out of 15. Try. Yeah. Maddie Mouse looks um, a little uncanny valley there. Tally looks... Actually, they all look weird here. I mean, that guy looks weird regardless, but like, ugh. This is kind of weird. Okay, well, we got 100%. 15 out of 15, we got every question right. What you giving for us? Oh, hey, it's a little... Oh. There's our souvenir! It's the Devil that Snowman. souvenir may help us find the Math Magician. Everything's safe here now. Go on. Go find the Math Magician. <laughs> this walrus is living on his own in the Arctic, and he's like, help! These snowmen are attacking me! It's like, what's the big deal? <laughs> they're they're stacked in such a way that, they're like, it should be impossible. Think it's Satan's magic. Oh, no! Okay, we'll save you. <laughs> Satan's magic is no joke. I don't, Okay, that world, I'm gonna say, the first game was fine. The second game just didn't really make sense. Like, okay, like, the idea of using math to help you in a snowball fight is great, and you could do that. That wasn't the way to do it. It's just like, oh, I only want to attack a shape that looks like this. Which, like, that's just kind of stretching it to be like, how can we make this math-based? Rather than how can we take a normally math-based problem and make it fun for kids? I feel like they could have done a little bit of a better job, perhaps. Again, that's just me. The, re the other few worlds did a very good job with integrating the mathematical, like, problems and the mathematical formulas that's not the right word mathematical concepts into like fun games that also teach you math this one was a little bit of a dud well i guess the theater was also kind of a dud but at least that did its semi-decent job of multiple teaching multiplication this one was just kind of a uh, meh but we get a model snowman yeah souvenirs Oh, I remember this one. But, we'll have to go there next time. Okay, I think I think this world is the one where we go bowling for penguins, maybe. Because we're still kind of in the snowy area, we're in the Alps. Again, or that might have been a dream I had. We'll just have to wait and see next time, because we're going to learn more about addition and subtraction. Last time, we did uh, the sugarcane bakery. And now, I, who knows what's in store for this time. I remember half of this world, but not a whole lot more. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We'll go bowling for penguins, maybe. Or maybe I was 100% rolling on that. I don't know, but we're going to learn more about addition and subtraction. And it's going to be fun. It'll be fun. So wait and see. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.